Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. So I hope you enjoyed yesterday's episode with our special guest star, Oswald Bates. And today we've got 21 listings and we're going to start off with Maple Crossing, a one bedroom at Maple Crossing. Price is $229, one bedroom, and you've got one parking space. Maintenance fees are $192 a month. You'd put probably just over $10,000 down on this, and then you'd have uh, some closing costs. The majority of your land transfer tax, if you're a first-time buyer, would be rebated back to you. So you might have two or 3000 in closing costs. So you'd be less than $15,000 down. Probably carries for about thirteen to fourteen a month. Uh, it, and that includes utilities, taxes, all in, every expense you'd have with this one would be covered. So, I mean, it is a pretty good alternative to uh, to renting. We've got this one on Ambrose at three nineteen nine. There's actually six of this model right now, so it can be very difficult to compete in that range. And it's and they're all between three thirteen and three twenty. And so a buyer is going to come and say, "Hey, if you don't take my offer, maybe the guy down the street will." And so that can be the tricky thing here. It's a, it's ten. 51 square feet. It's a great option for a first time buyer. You look at something like this without the maintenance fees, it probably carries for the same as a condo townhouse at 250 with 250 a month. It's pretty affordable. So, anyways, that's uh it's a nice looking listing, dark hardwood floors, all the rest of it, and they probably priced it fairly. I mean, it's just a question of the competition right now. There's just a bunch of them for sale. Uh 313 Prosser Circles at 399. And so what I can tell from this one here with one three-piece bathroom upstairs, pieces refers to the number of, of fixtures coming out of the wall. So whether or not you have a separate shower and tub or if they're one of the combined showers and tubs, it's still two pieces of hardware plus toilet sink. So shower and tub is typically a four piece, just a shower is a three piece, and then a two piece is just the sink and toilet. And so with the three piece here, it's probably like an Emery model, something like that. And they have a finished basement at 399. Actually, one of the ones that I talked about this week at 395, the Emery model sold conditional. Can't believe it. Azelton is 399, and so we're looking at a finished basement on this one here too. Relatively open concept, dark kitchen cupboards, but for some reason, all of them have light hardwood floors. I don't know if the builder just didn't give any other options. Uh, they're actually, you know, from my experience seeing these, they're not bad on the building. Like from what I've seen is the quality is actually pretty decent. Um, so I think for what it is, it's uh, it's not too bad at all. You have to be careful sometimes being a little too close to the train tracks in that neighborhood. Rose Heath is at 419. It's on a safe part of Rose Heath, meaning it's not backing onto dairy at all. And uh, the same model has actually been for sale in Vanier for a while. And uh, I would probably take Rose Heath over Vanier as a street. And this one's here at 419. So I think they're going basically head to head. Looks like a, uh, a pretty good listing. It's 32 by about 101 on the uh, the lot size, and I think it's a great option for first time buyer. And I think that um, you know it's got some extra land. You can park two cars side by side, and it's functionally a detached home. It might be linked by the foundation on this side here, uh, but it really it's above ground. It's a detached home, and you don't have to worry about any noise from the neighbors or anything like that. Relatively speaking, so transom is 439, townhouse finished basement, and again they've quoted the square footage as more than 2,000. I'm not sure if that's the total living space because the builder did finish the basement. Now, with the builder finishing the basement, you have to be really careful because there's settling, there's cracks, there's all kinds of issues you'd have to deal with, and I, I'm not quite sure if it's covered under warranty or not. I assume it would be, but you'd want to check into that with Terion.com. Uh, Pringle is 458, detached home, 1379 square feet. So you've got a uh, an open concept dining family area, and then that opens up to the uh, the kitchen. And they've done some pretty decent upgrades. I don't know if I love the cupboards here. They kind of look cheap. Uh, and so you've got a little area for your computer and all the rest of it. And glass shower is obviously a nice thing. 458, you could probably even widen the driveway if you wanted to to fit two cars side by side on something like this. So the values there, you look at something like this on Archer Way, which is just over 1,500 square feet with a finished basement. For not that much more, I would say, you know, this one may be a little bit better deal. Uh, however, you're basically just, you're looking at an older home versus a newer one. 
some dark hardwood. So that's what you get when you come in the front door. They may have built a closet in here. I don't think that's standard, That what they did right there. Uh, but anyways, it's, a, uh, it's an area where you could use it as a home office, a separate dining room. And then you've got your family room. Then there's the kitchen. Smart to add some extra pa pantry space on this one here. And, uh, you know, overall, I think this one looks like it shows very well California shutters. And you've got that bonus finished basement and a pretty decent sized lot too. So it's a, it's a nice area. Typically, these homes are, are cresting more than 10 years old. You want to check the age of the roof. You want to see how it looks and see, uh, see the general condition. Because there are parts of these homes that require some work after 10 years. It's a very quiet, nice street, and there's some nice parks close by too. The trees are, are more in bloom, because that's one of the first phases that Mattamy built over by Darien Trudeau. So Ramshaw is 469. It's a uh, it's probably a Lindsay model. It, it doesn't look like a Powell to me. So it's about, it's around, let's say, 1,800 square feet with four bedrooms upstairs, and you've got kind of a Ninja Turtles color theme going on there. But, uh, you know, again, this one looks pretty good. The value uh, of having a finished basement in a home that's about 300 square feet larger than the previous for 10,000 more might be compelling to some buyers. I think these guys are priced really well. Uh, there are people looking for that size of home, um, you know, for that price, and, there, and there's just not many out there. So Carbert, Four ninety nine. So this one was actually for sale at five ninety nine or five ninety eight. So they dropped a hundred thousand dollars in one day, and uh, and and it's underlisted. It's going to sell for competition, guaranteed. So we've got a uh, twenty four thirty six square foot home for less than five hundred thousand. It's going to go quick. So hardwood floors, pot lights. I'd be surprised if this one went for less. Then probably 525, 530. It's probably going to jump that level. So even if you're competing on this one, don't do 510. It's worth more than that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the floor plan because you've got these spoked out rooms. So you've got a little living room, a little dining room, and a bigger family room here. But they're all kind of separate. And they, it, I don't know, you either love this layout or you hate it. Lots of room upstairs. There's a big loft plus four bedrooms. And you got to put some fencing in here, but this one is a deal. It's underlisted. It's going to sell for more, or it should, if there's any justice. If you got this for full price, I'd say you could turn around and sell it at five twenty nine, no problem. Uh, so there you go. So McLaughlin is at five twenty nine, and so nineteen twenty five square feet. Again, look at the comparison: five hundred square feet smaller, listed at five twenty nine. Um, we don't have a lot of details about it. It's cost court built. And uh, it's on a decent sized lot too. It's I think 40 by 100. Pettit Trail is 589. So we're talking about less than 2,500 square feet. It's been listed before. Uh, I don't know if I love the pictures. And you'd think if it was listed and it wasn't selling, you'd go, well, maybe my marketing needs a little bit of work. And uh, anyways, there's some nice landscaping in the back, nice landscaping in the front. I don't know if the inside really sort of excites me, but you know it looks a little bit older when there's a pumpkin on your front steps. That's a sign that it's been listed for a little bit too long. Now, Zeus or Zest, as it's, I think the, the, the right pronunciation is Zest. I bet you 90% of people say Zeus. $599. It looks to me, it says it's 2,600 square feet. I can almost guarantee it's a Wood Lily or a Plan 12 model. And we don't have a lot of information about it. But that would be the range where they typically are listing. Now Lydia is 674, so <clears throat> excuse me, we're on a bungalow by one, 50 by 112. Nice inviting front porch. You've got some nice renos here. Uh, you know, there's a bungalow on mill that I think sold in the lower sixes. We've seen, uh, you know, so <clears throat> I could see this one going either way, but I think that it's a really nice floor plan. And I think Lydia is a really, really awesome street. So uh, I, I fully believe in the value of this one. Detached one and a half car garage. Uh, if you look at what we sold 41 James for and look at what some of these are listed for, there's another one on Lydia coming up too. They actually look like pretty good deals. So Lesage, because they just have bigger lots. Now Lesage is 684. And so we've got, uh, it says almost 3,000 square feet of living space. So that includes the finished basement. And I don't know how much it is without the finished basement. I don't know if that's a real power shot of the bathroom. And then somebody must have climbed up on a fence for this shot. So I applaud the person who took this. I don't know how they took this shot, but 
whatever. So they're probably standing on the corner of the fence, if you can believe that. Lesage is a good street close to, uh, there's a park right at the end of the street too. I don't know if I love the uh, the deal on that one at 684. 699 is this one on Lydia. And uh, Old Milton's packing the heat today. So you've got a nice sort of traditional uh, design. I mean, this home was probably built, uh, you know, 100 years ago or close to. And uh, I like it. It looks like a big home quality. You've got a lot of land nearby. You've got uh, no garage here. And although it looks like there's something behind here, it's hard to tell. There might be a little shed or cabin in the back. I don't know how much privacy you'd have between the neighbors, but Lydia is typically a, a prestige street in Milton. So anyways, we'll see what happens with that. This one on Dairy Road is a live work. 715 is the price. Haven't fared so well on the resale side, and it's a bit of a niche product because you've got uh, about 800 square feet of commercial space, and then you've got the rest of it is uh, is residential area. You also have a, a basement, which is functional and could be used for even more commercial space or storage or anything else. That's a big advantage over a lot of live works, which are just typically on, on uh, concrete foundations, so uh, like with no basement at all. Uh, they're actually pretty good finishes, nine-foot ceilings, everything else. We've got some granite countertops and, uh, you know, I, it's for what they paid and what they're hoping to get out of it. I'm not sure if they're going to uh, make a huge profit on it, but you have to, the other thing on the financing on those is you just really want to be considerate over the, um, the, the tax considerations because co the commercial part may be subject to HST. There's also different mortgage products that, uh, that are related to those that are not exactly residential. They're not exactly commercial. So Quinlan is uh, 759. Looks like a concrete uh, driveway. They put some money into this one for sure. There's a finished basement. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, the big thing with this one is, um, you know, the size of it. I get it. Probably worth in the high sixes without the finished basement. Add that in. Uh, and then there you go. That's probably the ju justification for what they're asking. We've got this one on Reese Court, 779. It's on a 50-foot wide lot, which is very hard, hard to find in the new areas, and it faces the escarpment. I don't know what model it is. I think it was listed at some point in the past, and uh, it looks like it's more than 3,500 square feet. So all that together, if it shows half decent, is probably not that far off. So Ashbrook, saw this one yesterday. Uh, sort of an oversized double car garage. Family's been here for 35 years. It's uh, it's a fascinating lot because you've got this floodplain behind you. Uh, it's it's never going to be built. It's not like there's floods happening, but it is it is sort of in that zone close to uh, to the creek there. And so you've got all this extra land that you could basically use, play football, do whatever you want to do. You wouldn't build anything on it. There'd never be anything built, as far as I know. And uh, you get all this land. But the actual property probably ends right here. It's a massive piece of property. And uh, so you've got a pool. And the home itself is has some original parts to it. Uh, it's nice, it's charming, it's not renovated or modern. There's some finished area in the basement. It's huge, it's probably more than 3,000 square feet of finished area. And you're on a 60 by 190 foot lot. So really the value of that, I get that the home may, for most people, require some work, but it's got a lot of charm to it. And it's probably one of the best lots in town, I would say, like in residential urban Milton, not in the country. Finally, we've got Cavell at 899. It's a Tothberg, 33, 31 square feet. You've got that nice curved staircase. Lots of upgrades in this one here. The kitchen looks fantastic. And uh, 899, you figure, you know, 3,300 plus a finished basement. That open staircase is probably 15 grand from Mad Me when they built it, when they bought it. Um, you know, it's got a lot of features. And so do the 4,000 square foot homes sell for around 900 that are really nice. Yes, they do. So the uh, you wouldn't be able to do anything else to this one to improve the value. Uh, you do have neighbors behind, but overall, this one is one, one of the best listings in terms of, of looks and finishes that you'll find in any list on Milton Daily Homes. So that's, uh, that's the day. So if you have any questions, give us a call. If you want to see anything in the list, definitely reach out to us. 905-693-9346. Have a great day.